Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Eric Haas with EXP Realty in sunny Southern California. And you're about to join us on another ride along adventure as we go through Mar Vista and its little pocket neighborhoods in which we're covering Mar Vista Hill today. So keep it tuned in here. We're about to drop on in Mar Vista Hill and show you what it's all about from the homes to what it offers and a little bit of history in there as well. Keep it dialed in. Let's go for a ride. Alrighty guys, so we're heading over to Mar Vista Hill. This is one of another, one of my favorite neighborhoods in the neighborhood. We're cruising down Ven Venice Boulevard at the moment, but Mar Vista Hill is located right between National Boulevard on the north side, Venice on the south. We've got Sentinella on the west side, and then we've got basically Stoner McLaughlin, depending on how you want to call it, on the east side as the border. Now Mar Vista Hill offers a little bit of a different scenery than that of Westdale Trucer where we were before. This has nice rolling hills which actually give us a great opportunity to take advantage of some city views that not only show downtown LA but also the Hollywood sign. And then on the west side we've got all the way out to Ocean Blue and the Pacific Ocean. Now we're about to turn left and head up on Grandview Boulevard. This is one of the most notorious streets in Mar Vista, and I'm gonna break it down to you why. Because it's historically the richest street in probably this side of the west side. Now if we head a little bit south on, on Grandview, we'll hit the uh, Mar Vista Farmer's Market that happens at 10 a.m. every single Sunday. All right, guys, so we're cruising up Grandview Boulevard right now, heading north, and a little bit of history right now is the fact that Grandview actually used to be the first gated community. In 1910, Palms Boulevard was a complete dead end and there was a mammoth sized wrought iron gate located at Palms Boulevard as well as at Venice Boulevard, making this the first gated community in all of Los Angeles back in 1910. All right guys, so we're heading north on Grandview Boulevard right now. And if you can look at this wide street we had ahead of you, there's a reason why it's a wide street. If you can name why the reason is in the comments below before I finish why, I will send you a $10 Starbucks card. Three, two, one. So Grandview has the widest street because again, it is the first street that had the first gated community. And so being the first gated community, they had a wrought iron fence here at Palms. Well, they needed a horse and carriage to be able to turn around. So unlike Grandview, Ocean View, and the rest of them, Inglewood Boulevard, you needed the space to turn around. So fortunately, we still got that space because uh, even though I got uh, power steering on this 57 Chevy Bel Air, I still need a wide turn in space. And here we go. Woo! All righty. Check out those views straight ahead. And off to the right, which is a little bit west, you got Loyola Marymount University. So these are kind of the south views. Again, to the west, you've got the ocean views. And to the east, you've got those city views. Now, Grandview Boulevard also happens to have the oldest home in Mar Vista. Now, this home right here actually was moved to Mar Vista in 1892. This home was part of the Bologna Ranch which was part of Mexico actually until the land was granted to the United States. But this home was originally built in Pasadena and then moved here in 1892. Now during the 1940s, Grandview, north of Palms Boulevard, which is where we're cruising down right now, got some cul-de-sacs, some big houses here as well. This actually used to lead to a dump and it wasn't uncommon to see the local teens actually off-roading and they would have loved these speed bumps here and actually seeing quite a few of their Model T's sticking up rear end up because they got stuck in the mud and this was happening majority of the time during the rainy season but it wasn't uncommon to see horse and buggy pulling them out as well. Now up here on the left we've got Venice Little League baseball field. Now interesting little note about this area here it's obviously a baseball field now with unobstructed views for the houses here on the east side of the street but this was actually going to be the location for 
the Mormon church that you actually see on Route 66 up in Westwood. As you can see, it's a ton of space, and this was actually going to be the location for the Mormon temple. However, they decided to change that up and move it to Westwood, so still we've got baseball going on on Mar Vista Hill. Alrighty, we're about to make a little turn onto Mountain View. And this street is known for exactly what you just heard. Mountain views, city views out to the east. Beautiful picturesque neighborhood, beautiful homes, original, moderns, two stories that were added on, originals like that one as well. Just a great quaint little neighborhood. Now here's a crazy thing too. During the 1940s, north of Palms, and off of Rose Avenue, there actually used to be an Army anti-aircraft installation to protect the Douglas Aircraft Plant. And it was actually said that there was actually firing of that weapon during the Greater Los Angeles Air Raid, which was rumored to be an attack from Imperial Japan. This was just after Pearl Harbor. We're looking in the Century City, and on a clear day, you can see all the way out to the mountains when there's some snow on it as well as all the way out to downtown LA. And I did mention you can see that Hollywood sign as well. But check out the views that these homes have here. Now, here's some trivia that I didn't even know about, and I've been working this neighborhood for about 15, 16 years. But Mar Vista was actually involved in the Civil War. Yes, friends, the Union actually used Mar Vista Hill to keep an eye on the South, where it was rumored that the Confederate Army was looking to make inroads into California through Catalina Island. So a little bit of trivia there for you as well. And again, why it's so historically rich on this Mar Vista Hill here. Here on Mar Vista Hill, we've had some pretty well-known people living here. We've had some NBA greats like Jerry West, former GM of the Lakers as well. And of course the renowned Coach Wooden from UCLA basketball. And uh, just giving you a nice idea of what these homes offer here in Mar Vista Hill. A lot of them are expansions now, but a lot of them start at two bedroom, three bedrooms with the same amount of bathrooms. And now they've gotten up to four bedrooms and five bathrooms. Look at that view out there too. And 4,000 plus square feet. Once we get past Palms Boulevard here, the lot sizes transition from about 5,700 to 6,000 square feet to about 7,500 all the way up to 20,000 plus square feet. Here we go with some of those amazing views again, looking down south on Inglewood Boulevard. Can't go wrong with some palm trees. Now Marvis has also been the home to many commercials, State Farm commercials, Miami Vice TV show, but some oldies, but still goodies. This hill particularly was in the Little Rascals and it was part of their Soap Box Derby run. Laura Hardy was filmed here as well. And again, you can get the true essence of California with these palm trees. All right, we're about to roll up on one of my favorite houses in Mar Vista and on Mar Vista Hill. This is at Mountain View. Sold this house back in 2014. Beautiful modern, sitting on a 9,600 square foot lot. It's an L shape, five bedrooms, five bath, over 4,000 square feet with epic views of the city. And this house, my friend, was actually the first home to take Mar Vista into the three million plus range. Now this home right here, my friends, if you're interested in checking out a home that needs to either be torn down or completely renovated, this is sitting on a 9,600 square foot lot. Hit me up if you're looking for that dream opportunity to build the home of your dreams. Alrighty guys, so now we're taking a look at Ocean View Avenue and I just want to break down some of the prices for you on Mar Vista, Mar Vista Hill. Right in here, we're looking at a 1-6 range just to get in for some of these original homes that probably need some work. And then you're looking all the way up to 5 million plus, which we're about to roll up on. The most expensive home has ever sold on Mar Vista Hill. It is this beautiful modern right here. And it's interesting, this home was actually first built for the owner and they had no intentions of selling it actually and they said well if we got five million dollars for it we would entertain selling it and in fact friends they did they got five million plus 
and it was off the market before you knew it and uh, our highest sold in the neighborhood thus far. Alrighty guys, I know I've been talking a lot about views and here we go, we've got our views out to the west, out to the ocean blue. A little hazy today, but we're looking pretty. This is what you guys get to view from Ocean View and Grand View. These are the ocean views all the way out to Marina Del Rey. Alrighty guys, that wraps up another ride along adventure in Mar Vista, that was Mar Vista Hill. I hope you guys enjoyed it. See what uh, little different pocket neighborhoods of Mar Vista are all about. And uh, if you're thinking about making the move to LA and Mar Vista is uh, now on your list of places you want to check out, don't hesitate to reach out. I live in the neighborhood too. And uh, there's no one better than me to take you through and get you completely dialed in on what to be aware of and how to win in this market. Have a great one. Have a great weekend. Stay safe. And I'll see you next week. Later.